What is going on everybody and welcome to part 2 of Sponge Plugin Programming. In today's part, we're just going to be doing a quick setup of our main configuration file. So let's go ahead and get started with this right now by opening up our main Java class here. In my case, it is spongeskills.java. So let's go ahead, just right near the top of it, I want to go ahead and inject a couple more variables here. The first one being at default config. And this is going to take in one argument. Let's go ahead, alt enter to import that. This is going to take in one argument, shared root. And we're going to set this equal to false. And the reason for this is because we do not want to share the same exact folder as the rest of the config files that are created by Sponge or any other plugin for that matter. We want to go ahead and create our own custom unique folder called Sponge Skills that's going to contain every single config file for this plugin. And then we just want to create the variable underneath here. And I'm just going to do private path default config. And you can go ahead and use a file here instead of a path. doesn't matter. Then we want to go ahead and inject another one here. So inject, then add default config. And again, we want to go ahead and set the shared root equal to false. And this one's going to be private configuration loader commented configuration node and we're just going to call this the loader this is what's going to allow us to load and save everything that's within our config file next up we want to inject one more variable here we're going to set this instead of default config we want at config dir and again shared root equal to false let's alt enter to go ahead auto import that and this one right here will also be a path, and this will point to our config directory. And once all those variables are done, we want to go ahead and create one more here that we are not going to auto-inject, or that we're not going to inject. And we're just going to make this private configuration node. And we're just going to call this config. Now, as I said last time, we're going to be using each of these initialized or initialization functions for something different. And for configuration files, we want to go ahead and use this pre init function right here. So in here, we're going to go ahead, load and create this default config. So within here, we want to create a try catch statement here, because when we are dealing with files, there is a chance that an IO exception could occur. And if one does, we want to go ahead and catch it. So IO exception, and we're just going to call it E and import that. Now, if we do get an IO exception, we want to go ahead and use the logger here to do dot warn and just tell them that we've had a issue loading this file. So error loading default configuration. That way, if this were to ever occur, it would go ahead and tell us exactly where the issue is. Now within this try catch statement, we want to go ahead and initialize this value here. And we can just do this by doing config equals loader dot load. And because this loader variable is auto injected here or injected with a value already, it'll go ahead and properly load this file. And the next thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead to see if exclamation point for not default config dot to file since this is a path, we have to convert it to a file here, dot exists. So if this default config file does not exist, then we want to go ahead and put in some placeholder values there in order to actually set it up and create it. So if it doesn't exist, we want to go ahead, grab this config that we created up here, or that we initialized up here, and get the node. And we're going to get the node placeholder. If it doesn't exist, it will it will create it here. We just want to set the value to true. So this, as this node states here, it's just a placeholder. It's really nothing, nothing useful that we're going to be using, but it's just there in order to make sure that this function is running properly or that the config is being created successfully. And every time we go ahead and we set a value or change a value, we want to go ahead and save it. So we do this by using the loader variable dot save followed by the configuration node that we want to save in this case the configuration node is called config so we just want to go ahead and save config like so so save that 
Let's go ahead and build it now. And once it's done building, if there are no errors, it'll go ahead and say that it was completed successfully. And if we just open up our server folder here and run the start.bat, if everything goes well, once this is all done getting through what it's doing, if we go into our config here, we'll be able to see that a sponge skills folder was created and that there will be a default config called sponge skills dot text. And now that it is done loading, we can go ahead and see within our configs folder that there is indeed a sponge skills folder. And if we go into that, there is also a sponge skills dot conf or config file. And if we go ahead and open this up, you can see that that placeholder node was created and the value was set to true, just like we have within this pre init right here. So that is all that we are doing in this video. We got our default config set up and next time we're going to be going about and creating two more config files that'll be in charge of the player accounts as well as all of the skills that we're going to be creating later on. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.